For years now, people have been asking, what would happen to religion if we found proof of aliens? If researchers found proof of a hyper-intelligent life form, responsible for the creation of life as we know it, it's fair to say that it would have a major impact on religions worldwide. As of right now, space agencies, along with scientists and researchers have said that we haven't found any signs of intelligent life forms. Although it's important to note that NASA are currently investigating mysterious flying crafts that have been observed by military officials, noting that as of right now they're not sure how these crafts are able to do what they do. This is an interesting leap forward, as in previous years NASA hasn't been very open to the idea of this topic. Just a few years ago NASA turned to theologians, those who study the nature of God, religion and religious beliefs, in order to help them assess and understand what would happen if we ever found proof of extraterrestrials somewhere else in the universe. Although headlines are being shared around on social media at the moment, this study was actually conducted back in 2015 and went on until 2018, with the project being called the Societal Implications of Astrobiology. The idea was simple. How would religious people react if they were told that scientists had found proof of extraterrestrial life? In order to carry out this study, NASA had invested over a million dollars into the program. Some of those who were involved in the program were priests, rabbis and Islamic scholars, and NASA said that they were interested to see what results would come from this, saying what would be the implications of finding advanced life forms outside our planet even if this was at a microbial level. This has led to some interesting discussions, with some saying that perhaps God is an advanced life form that travels to distant galaxies and sees them with life, an idea that has been played out various times in TV shows and movies. Other people have been looking into these discussions more deeply, and have said it's strange how these organisations are starting to open up to this idea. After all, they've hardly been vocal about these subjects in the past, and this has led some to say that they could be making a big announcement soon. One user said the following, For the last few months has anyone noticed that we've been seeing a lot of these sorts of headlines, and not just on things like social media, but even the mainstream media has ramped up their output of theories about advanced life. It makes me think that we might be getting a big update soon about something bigger than our existence, and that this could be their way of warming us up to it. I could be completely wrong, but think about it. When have companies like NASA and the mainstream media ever been this interested in life outside our planet, and also things like mysterious flying aircrafts? It makes you wonder what they know. Also, people sharing this idea that we're alone in the universe are being extremely close-minded. The fact that we've only sent rovers to one planet, one moon and one asteroid, in a universe that contains hundreds of billions of galaxies, and over 700 quintillion planets, really shows you how little we know. End quote. Scholars also stated that the Quran contains an interesting passage that reads as follows. And among his signs is the creation of the heavens and the earth, and the living creatures that he has scattered through them. End quote. This has led some to theorise that this could point to there being life outside of earth. The Reverend Dr. Andrew Davidson, a priest and theologian at the University of Cambridge, who has a doctorate in biochemistry from Oxford, was among the 24 theologians who took part in this experiment. He said the following, Religious traditions would be an important feature in how humanity would work through any such confirmation of life elsewhere. Because of that, it features as part of NASA's ongoing claim to support work on the societal implications of astrobiology, working with various partner organisations, including the Centre of Theological Inquiry at Princeton. Non-religious people also seem to overestimate the challenges that religious people would experience if faced with evidence of alien life. If we are the products of creation, why couldn't we have life evolving on other planets as well? There's nothing that says otherwise. End quote. Not everyone was happy with NASA spending over $1 million on this project. 
In fact, the Freedom From Religious Foundation reached out to NASA and asked them to revoke the grant, along with the study, saying that they would take this further, and even look into suing them if NASA didn't comply. The Freedom From Religious Foundation made it clear that this study was a waste of money, saying that NASA shouldn't be questioning belief systems. The Foundation said the following, Science should not concern itself with how progress will impact faith-based beliefs. End quote. Interestingly though, back in 2008, the Vatican's chief astronomer said that there's no problem with asking these sorts of questions, and said that there's no conflict between believing in God and the possibility of extraterrestrial brothers. Reverend Fune said the following, In my opinion, this possibility of life on other planets exists. How can we exclude that life has developed elsewhere? He was then asked what life he was referring to, or whether he thought that there could be beings similar to humans or more advanced than other planets. He responded with the following, Certainly, in a universe this big you can't exclude this hypothesis. End quote. Albert Moller, who is the president of Southern Baptist Theological Seminary, was asked his opinions on whether aliens exist. He said the following, The answer is no. That's speculative. We have no reason to believe there's any other story out there. There is nothing in scripture that says there can't be some form of life elsewhere. But what we were told is that the cosmos was created in order that on this planet Jesus Christ, in space and time and history, would come to save the sinful humanity. End quote. So what do you guys make of this announcement? And how do you think people would react if we found proof of advanced life forms? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.